for you. I hope that all of you are fine. Welcome you all to my presentation. So dear student, um, what can you see in my first picture? I'm going to show you some picture first before going to the class. What can you see in this picture? Yes, you can see a woman with some of her children. Okay, so let's see what the what do they uh, what do they say? Yes, the children are saying that I love my mother, and then my mother is the best. Yes, mother is the best to all her children, isn't it? This is the best gift for a uh, uh, gift of nature to us. Yes, dear students, we can talk about pictures in this way. Can't we? All right. Uh, so, what can you see here in the picture? What is this? Is it a mosque? Is it a Shohid Minar or National Memorial? Which one? Certainly, it's a National Memorial. Isn't it? It's a National Memorial. All right. Then, dear students, I'm going to show you another picture. What is this? What is this? Is it a mosque? Or National Memorial or Shahid Minar? Right. It's a Shahid Minar. You know, it's a Shahid Minar. So, dear student, I'm going to show you another picture. Uh, which day is related with Shahid Minar? Which day is related with Shahid Minar? Do you know? May Day or Mother's Day or International Mother Language Day? Which one? Certainly, International Mother Language Day is related with the Shahid Minar. We, on 21st February, we observe uh, our International Mother Language Day. It's also observed as a martyr day. However, so it's a, um, the Shwet Minar is related with our International Mother Language Day. Isn't it? Yes. So, dear students, can you guess what will be the topic, what will be our today's topic? You can see the picture and think about it and try to guess what is our today's topic. Yes, our today's topic is International Mother Language Day. In your textbook of class 9, you will find it in unit 3 and in lesson 1, page number 33. Please take your textbook and open page 33 and then you can get the uh, text of today. Dear student, we'll read the text. Before going to read the text, I'm going to uh, make it a little bit easy. For that, I I'm going to present some vocabularies. Some key words are here that will be helpful to um, understand the text easily if, I, if we learn, if we can learn this text, this vocabularies first. Okay, dear. So, what's our learning outcomes? What will we learn? Or, or what the benefit? we will get after completing this lesson. Yes, our learning outcomes is uh, we will be able to talk about our language movement, the significance of our International, language, uh, International Mother Language Day and we will be able to tell about the um, remember and honor the martyrs of language movement. Yes, and prepare ourselves with an unseen faces as well. Okay, dear students. So please text, um, you may text, open, in, open the textbook in page number 33. And let's see the picture. Here. What is this? It's a picture of tribute. Do you know what is tribute? Tri uh, tribute means an act of showing respect. An act of, uh, an act of showing respect. So, we pay tribute to the martyrs on 21st February. We pay tribute to the martyrs. Don't we? Yes, we pay tribute to the martyrs. And in the picture we can see that some people are paying tributes to the martyrs. Another picture is here. Okay. 
And the word is here, climax. Do you know what is climax? Yes. I think that you may know climax. And you can see the picture of climax here. The most exciting point in, the time, in time. The most exciting point in time is climax. Climax is most exciting point in time. Yes. The protest turned into a movement and climax it's in um, the protest turned into the into a movement and reached its climax the protest turned into a movement and reached its climax okay. then i'm going to show another uh, thing uh, you can find a sentence here mama Jinnah declared the urdu will be the only state language of pakistan so here you word declare. Do you know what is the meaning of declare? Declare means order something loudly. Order something loudly. Okay. So the student, the student of Dhaka University defied the law. Defied the law and they uh, brought out a peaceful procession. Here, defy. A word defy is here, uh, used in this sentence. Uh, do you know what the meaning of defy? Defy means to refuse or, or to refuse to obey. Okay? Defy means to refuse to obey. Okay? Break something. Okay. So, dear student, we have heard some word here. We have seen some new words, keywords that are used in this text. Now I'm going to read the text. You can also read the text from your textbook and I'm, I have given the text in the screen as well. You may read, read it. So um, let's go to read it. I have given some word highlighted here. Okay, I'm giving here some words that are highlighted so that it may, uh, it will be helpful for you to understand the text. So very carefully observe the uh, notice the word and sentences. Try to understand the theme of the process. 21st February is a murder day in our national history. We observe the day every year as an international mother language day. The day is a national holiday. On this day, we pay tribute to the martyrs who laid down their lives to establish Bang Bangla as a state language in, in the undivided Pakistan in 1952. You can see some highlighted words here. Okay. This is known as language movement. This is known as language movement. The seed of the language movement was shown on 21st March 1948. When Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the then Governor General of Pakistan, at a public meeting uh, in Dhaka, declared that Urdu would be the only official language of Pakistan. The declaration raised a storm of protest the eastern, uh, to the eastern part of the country. The protest continued non-stop, gathering momentum day by day. It turned into a movement and reached its climax in 1952. The government outlawed all sorts of public meetings and rallies to prevent it. The students of Tech University defied the law and they brought out a peaceful protest procession on 21st February in 1952. When the procession reached near Dhaka Medical College, the police opened fire on the students killing Salam, Rafiq, Jab, Barkat and Jabbar uh, and kindled the sparks of independence movement of Bangladesh. After, okay, we read the text and you have read, uh, you have listened. So, I am going to read the text once again. 
what have we got from there? So for scanning, I'm going to read the passage once again. 21st February is a memorable day in our national history. We observe the day every year as an International Mother Language Day. The day is a national holiday. On this day, we pay tribute to the martyrs of the um, martyrs who laid down the lives of established Bangladeshi state language in, in divided Pakistan in 1952. Okay, this is known as the language movement. The series of language movement was shown on 21st March 1948 when Mohammad Rajina, the then government, governor general of Pakistan, at, the pub, uh, at a public meeting in Dhaka declared that Urdu would be only official language of Pakistan. The declaration raised a storm of protest in the eastern part of the country. The protest continued non stop gathering moment, momentum day by day. It turned into a movement and raised its climax in 1952. The government outlawed all sorts of public meeting and release to prevent it. The students of Dhaka University defied the law and they brought out a peaceful protest procession on 21st February in 1952. When the procession raised near the reached near the Dhaka Medical College, the police opened fire on the students, killing Salam, Rafiq, Jabbar, Burkot, uh, and Jabbar. This enkindled the sparks of independence movement of Pakistan, Bangladesh. Okay, dear students, after skimming, what, uh, can we write the summary of the passage? What is the summary? What is the main theme of the passage? Think about it and let's think. I have given a summary here. Try to match your mind. Let's read it and, and think that if this can be the summary of the text. Bangladeshi are only people in the world who have laid down their lives for the sake of the mother language. UNESCO has declared the Nobel certificate um, sorry, UNESCO has recognized the Nobel sacrifice of the heroic souls of our people for establishing the glowing pitch of Bangla. Establishing the glowing place of Bangla. 21st February is observed International Language Day all over the world. Dear students, um, we have got the, uh, read the text again and again. I think that all the texts are eligible and understandable to you and you have understood the theme. Now, some vocabulary I'm going to check once again. This is language movement. Do you know what is language movement? Yes, you have seen a picture of language movement. That's mean fight for language. Okay, Language movement is fight for language. Then, the word is procession. Yes, procession. What does procession mean? Procession means parade. Okay, then sparks. Uh, yes, sparks. You have seen the picture. Flame of fire. These are sparks. Sparks. Uh, storm of protest. Strongly protested. Yes, uh, storm of protest means strongly protested. We got this phrase in our text. Then tribute. Yes, I, we also uh, show tribute. Tribute means honor. Then, dear students, some martyrs who laid down their lives on 21st February for the sake of language, the, uh, Salam, Rafiq, Barkat, and Jabbar. Then, what is UNESCO? Do you know about UNESCO? Yes, UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization. UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational scientific and cultural organization okay thank you a sister concern organization of united state uh, united nations so information after scanning and skimming dear student what information we got from the text we got the 21st february is our mother language day 21st memory is uh, 21st february is a memorable day in our national life isn't it 
a, uh, it is observed with great solemnity throughout the country and throughout the world as well. UNESCO declared uh, 17 November in 1999 as the International Mother Language Day. Yes, on, on 17 November in 1999, UNESCO declared 21st February as International Mother Language Day. Okay. Another information is international, uh, international community show respect the language matters um, by observing the day. Okay. So developing um, writing skill here. Just student, I'm going to give you some dates or some, um, yes, some dates. You have to say what happened on that days okay in 1947 what happened do you know in 1948 then what happened in 1952 yes a picture is given related to the um, session and what happened in 1971 <coughs> there is also a clue for your understanding and what happened in 1999 Think about the, <coughs> try to recall what information we got from the text and try to fill the blanks related to the session. <coughs> okay, dear students, for, uh, to help you, I'm giving you some, uh, the clues and the answer, <coughs> probable answer. In 1947, Pakistan achieved her independence. Is it? You know that before 1947. Uh, Pakistan was united with India and um, uh, under rule of British, under the rule of British. Okay, in 1947, what happened? Muhammad Jinnah, the Governor General of Pakistan, declared Urdu will be, <coughs> would be the only state language of Pakistan. And what happened in 1952? Yes, the peoples of East Bengal, <coughs> headed by the student of Dhaka University brought out procession demanding the <coughs> inclusion of Bangla as one of the state languages. <laughs> and what happened in 1999? Yes, UNESCO declared 21st February is the International Mother Language Day. So dear student, if I ask you some question, can you answer them? What happened in 1952 in East Pakistan? Yes, the language movement. Language movement happened in 1952 and our heroic sons sacrificed their lives, laid down their lives for their language. Who were killed in procession? Students of Tech University were, uh, and some people of other, other people of Bangladesh were killed in, on the procession. What is the other name of 21st February? Can you tell me what is the other name of 21st February? Yes, International Mother Language Day, isn't it? 21st February is um, known International Mother Language Day as well. What do you do on 21st February? What do we do in 21st February? We show honor or tribute to the martyr, martyr to the martyr of language movement on 21st February, aren't we? Yes. Why do we observe 21st uh, February as International Mother Language Day? Yes, we observe 21st, uh, 21st February as International Mother Language Day. As UNESCO declared it as an International Mother Language Day, we also uh, want to show respect to the other, other languages. Isn't it? My uh, aid uh, gives us a chance to show the respect to the to practice of multilingualism. Let's see another question. What happened when Urdu was declared as only official language of Pakistan? Yes, you know that it enkindled the uh, flame of uh, movement, isn't it? In East Pakistan. Then the seed of independence uh, independent was shown in 21st February in 1952. Do you agree with the comment? Why? I think that all of you will be agree because oh, we on 15, uh, 1952, we sacrificed for our mother tongue and we got the dignity 
we got the recognition recognition yes and from that moment we got the strength that if we can be united if we can raise our voice we can achieve our our demand our independence that's so you can say that the series of independence was shown in 21st february in 1952 why 21st february is observed internationally do you know yes 21st February is observed internationally because UNESCO has declared 21st February as International Mother Language Day, isn't it? Yes, dear student. So, dear student, oh, let's to skip this one. Here I have shown some uh, a text and uh, I try to show that some some uh, capital letter, uh, some some letters are highlighted in red marks and they are in capital letter. You can see that. In every uh, sentence, the beginning letter of the sentence is, uh, uh, is capital letter. Some proper nouns are here also uh, used as Pakistan, Urdu, Dhaka, etc. Uh, are proper nouns. Is it? The, the first word of the sentence is, uh, uh, is in capital letter. Is it? Yes. So, uh, if I give you, uh, let you to use capital letter in this text, can you use capital letter properly? I think that you can. The government uh, announced announced Dhaka, the uh, plenary of the UNESCO General Conference, mm, unanimously adopted a draft resolution um, tabled by Bangladesh for proclamation of International Mother Language Day to be observed February 21st, giving the world recognition of the of Bengalis sacrifice of blood for their mother tongue the unesco proclaimed february 21st as the international mother language day dear student here the red words uh, the beginning letter of the red words will be capital letter isn't it okay dear students a gap filling activities i have brought here for you you may please re uh, see the gap filling activities and try to um fill up them with the right words now first you have to read the text carefully uh, give, uh, think about the passage and try to supply the proper word the unesco has declared uh, proclaimed february 21st the international mother language day dash order that all the dash can dash the day to dash the sacrifice of the martyrs dash or uh, order to dash the rightful place of bangla the plenary of unesco took a dash and accordingly dash the day at the um, headquarters of Paris in dash 1999. The UNESCO recognized the day and the dash in mind that to spread mother language will encourage multilingual education. So dear student, you have to read again then try to use proper word to fill the gaps. This kind of question we see in our examination as well. So, what will be the first word in A? Language Day. UNESCO has proclaimed 21st February as the International Mother Language Day in order, in order that, in order all the dash can, all the nation can, dash the day, observe the day to and uh, recognize the sacrifice of the martyrs yes in order to dash the rightful place in order to establish the rightful place of bangla the plenary of unesco took a uh, decision and accordingly announced the d at the headquarters of paris in november 1999 then UNESCO recognized the day and kept in mind that um, to spread mother language, language will encourage multilingual education. In this way, we can complete the text. Okay, dear student, no more today. I'm giving you a uh, homework for you so that you can practice. You may also re uh, uh, keep yourself busy at home. That's why, um, please look at the picture and try to uh, write a letter to your friend describing how you have observed International Mother Language Day in your school. 
I know every year we observe our International Mother Language Day at our school. You also do that. So write a letter to your friend describing how you observe your International Mother Language Day at your school. Okay, this is your homework. Now today, stay fine, stay safe at home. Thank you.